Hi, Michael. I understand you just finished your um, lecture at SCAD. Can you tell me a little about it? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, my schedule was all about fashion, and it was. Um, and basically just giving everyone the ins and outs, the real deal about the fashion industry, really through my eyes. Um, and just let them know where I began with my career and where what the decisions I made and the steps I took to come in this place where um, I have reached a certain amount of success, but really, you know, it's nothing in comparison to what I see for myself. And that what the thread is to tie all of that together is the fact that you must always work really hard. Okay, the kids seem to just gravitate to you. They just mm -hmm. couldn't sit and get enough. Mm -hmm. um, their questions seem to be a lot of the same about mm -hmm. how to get a job. And mm -hmm. is that is it really how to get a job or is how to develop yourself as for a career? What, what do you think about that? Um, really, it's just about getting a job. And, and I, I, I wanted to mention that, but this is always so much stuff to, to get in my head. But a job denotes something else. A job, to me, sounds like something you do for somebody else. You know, you should be wanting to a career, something you can do for yourself that you have control of. Mm -hmm. But um, definitely a lot of questions about internships and uh, just, you know, how to break into the industry. But I try to answer the best I could. So what prepared you for Project Runway? Um, my life. My life prepared me for Project Runway. Um, like I said, since 2001, I've been on my own, my own company, designing clothes. I decided to break into the industry, through the music industry, uh, in way of becoming a fashion stylist and therefore so sort of borrowing and pulling clothes, which I did still, I would bring my record clothes in and have the artists wear those clothes and that way I create a platform for myself for my things to be seen because I really didn't have any retail presence. Right. So why not music, everybody buys CDs, let's put on a video, uh, album cover, a tour. So that's how it happened for me. So really just working every day, just doing non-stop work for artists really pretty much was mimicked in Project Roman. Everything in those last minute dates and deadlines, it happens all the time in the music industry. So, so what prepared you? What, first, what's the name of your company and where yeah, is it? Yeah, my name of my company is Michael Knight. It's my name. It's Michael Knight. Yeah. And where is it? It's in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta doesn't seem like a likely place for fashion. Tell yeah. me about how that's Well, going. I actually totally disagree. Um, Atlanta is an amazing. It, it, I, I see, because it's a city like every other city. It has, you know, the pulse, the lifestyle of a metropolis and people are amazingly fashionable there. And I just decided, you know, as I mentioned, I was talking to some of the students that asked why Atlanta. I was like, well, you have to realize Atlanta is a young city compared to most, you know. You know, our city has been burnt down and all kind of things. So therefore, as, you know, no one ever thought music would ever, you know, Atlanta will be the biggest place for music, you know, and it is now. Like, it is the place to come. So, you know, it's just going to take some time like music did, but it'll happen. So you think and, it could be a fashion oh yeah. giant? Yeah, it could definitely be a fashion giant. It could definitely be one of the, the fashion capitals of the country. Yeah. So what prepared you for Project Runway? Um, again, my life. Just doing what I did um, as a designer in the city of Atlanta. Just designing every day. Uh, I, just being a designer, you know, that's just what the show is about, and that's what my life is about, is just design work. So, um, life, <laughs> that's so, what it was. Do you approach designing for the stars like Jennifer Hudson any differently than you would um, approach designing for another client? Mm, no, um, I don't, because every client is special in their own way. Right? Every client, to me, is a star, mm -hmm. to me. I feel like it, you know, because what I'm doing for you is just going to be for you. Mm -hmm. And um, and that was the same situation with every other client. So, um, you know, we may do a little bit more sparkle here and there, a little bit more drama, but for the most part, like, no, it's, it's the same same talk off. It's, yeah, every, everyone's a star to me. Okay. You mentioned your uh, clothing line that, um, is Kitty Litter? Or Kitty Litter? No, the, uh... Kitty's Litter is my cabaret burlesque performance group, and Kitty and Dick is my male and, and female intimate apparel line. Oh, so um, is that coming out soon? Yeah, I'm where it's all in developmental, the, the intimate apparel lines in the, the developmental stages right now. And um, it's amazing. So, yeah, it's, it's all coming soon. And as well as the per, the fragrance, the unicycle? Yeah, the, fra the fragrance, uh, and Magic, it's Magic. It's available on my website, michaelknight.com. $35 for 1.7 ounce bottle. You should get it right now. It smells great, very clean, fresh. It's unisex. 
Um, it has a concoction of all kind of has. I think it has like 17 different notes in it to make one. Do you smell it? Have you smelled? Have you no, smelled? I was wondering. Well, I was wondering. Did you, you bring samples? Give a, uh, what is the smell? I, I didn't bring any samples just because. No, I. My situation today was so crazy getting here, so okay. that's okay. why. But um, yeah, um, available on MichaelKnight.com Magic. And um, how's it? Is it traditional spell magic? No, it's actually magic is derived from my uh, initials to my name, um, M A J K. My name is Michael Anthony Knight Jr. But um, I switched the J and the K around because it makes more sense and came up with magic. Oh, that's nice. And um, tell me about your appearance on um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, it was just that, my parents. It was just, uh, she was, she's going into fashion, I'm into fashion. She's on Bravo, I was on Bravo. Are That's you going to do it again? Um, no. No? So, are you happy with your branding so far? I am, I am. You know, there's always much more that I could do, much more work that um, can be done, but that's just the whole process of anyone pursuing anything. Like, mm -hmm. you reach a certain level of success and you're satisfied, but then you're not. Mm -hmm. So then you have to figure out what else you can do to, to become satisfied again, and then you become more creative and, you know, reach higher heights. And then you reach there, then you're satisfied, then you're not. So I'm, I'm always um, pushing to do more. I, I mean, I hear you from the beginning. You said you, you chose to um, show your work and sell your work in small boutiques. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's your niche? Or do you think that ultimately you close your eyes and your stuff will be everywhere? No, that's definitely not my niche. Like, you know, it's just all about pacing yourself and having somewhere to start from and, you know, taking what's accessible to you. And that's what was accessible to me and that's what worked for me. So I start there. But, you know, I'm bigger than just boutiques or just, you know, the one two of a kind piece for somebody. You know, I'm like a knight. No, I'm meant for greatness. So um, it's definitely going to be something a lot more for me. Are you having fun? I am having a blast. Like, my life has just been totally turned upside down in such a good way, like a top. You know, like those spinning top. Mm -hmm. Tops are all about fast, fun, it's a whirlwind, but at the end of the day, like, it's enjoyment. And that's what my life has been like, just, yeah. I mean, I'm here at SCAD, like, how amazing is this? This is my third year, so I'm excited to be here. I love it. Thank you.